Why doesn't the mirror reflect any of the numbers? Ha, siehst du mal. Schon einmal ein Tipp. 0311. Don't kill us, Max. I guess I'll never dance again, Max. Right when I was about to start a new life in California. Shit, Whoa, Max. I thought we were on the same team. Now I I'll die alone. You kissed me. Now you're going to kill me? Honey, I always thought of you like a daughter. And now you're going to take me away from my family. Why would you do that? So this is how Max gets her revenge on. Max, you saved my life. Gave me the chance to catch one more fish. Thanks for that warning, Max. You treated me like a human, not like trash. I sure hope you do that for everybody in town. Honey, I always thought of you like a daughter. And now you're gonna breaker, take breaker. me. Killing me Thanks is for saving so me. Not cool. Carrying the load, Why good buddy. Would you do that? That's a big 10-4. I know I haven't been the best principal to you, but you've been a great everyday hero for us. I guess my husband and new baby will have to go without me. Don't let the squirrels die. That's you so kind. Max, don't and kill and me. Now you're so going to let me finally die. have our tea session. Thanks, Max. Who, who are you? Holy shit! Are you cereal? I'm you, dumbass. Or I'm one of many Maxes you've left behind. Can you get me out of here? Oh, so you want help? <laughs> Thought you could control everybody and everything, huh? Twist time around your fingers? I tried to help. I only wanted to do Oops. the right thing. No, you only wanted to be popular. And once you got these amazing powers... Your big plan was to trick people into thinking you give a rat's ass. I do care. That's why I was trying to make friends. By telling people what they want to hear? <laughs> you were just looking for a shortcut because you can't make friends on your own. That's not true. I have great friends. And I've used my powers for good. Please, stop playing innocent. You're a goddamn hypocrite. You've left a trail of death and suffering behind you. That was not my fault, you son of a bitch. Don't you dare talk about our mom that way. <laughs> what about the crap that was your fault? Wait, wait, let me guess. You fucked up time and space for your precious punk, Chloe? <laughs> you think she's worth all that? We all are. This isn't about Chloe. Or even me anymore. Gosh, you're so selfless now, Mahatma Max. It's too bad you pissed your power away on high school drama. Chloe does a better job of guilt tripping me than you do. Because you let her bully you. It's called Stockholm Syndrome. But you didn't do that homework. So you'll have to learn the hard way. Like Rachel. Just shut up. You're not scaring me anymore. I'd be more worried about Chloe killing us than Jefferson. Max, do you really think she's our friend? That she respects us in any way? Man, you are so stupid. <laughs> I'm embarrassed to have the same name. And someday Chloe will destroy... Oh hell, speak of the devil. Dude, do not even fuck with her head. She knows what we went through together this week, and you don't. There's no way you can break up our team. This is reality. After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. I am seriously glad to see you. Welcome home, Max. Fasten your seatbelt. The nightmare will never end. I, uh, know it was your birthday last month. This was my real father's camera. I want you to have it. 
Yes, of course it's cool. Thank you. This camera is so sweet. Now that we got that mushy shit out of the way, I feel like stage diving. Let's thrash this place. Yep, yep, I'm fucking insane in the brain. Let's dance. Shake that bony white ass. Or take my picture with your new camera. This song fucking rules. Can't dance, hippie? Come on. Rock out, girl. Yo, turn it off. Turn it off. You need to hide now. My stepdad will kill me if he finds you here. You were here today, Max. You saved me. I'm still tripping on that. Seeing you after all these years feels like... Destiny. If this is destiny, I hope we can find Rachel. I miss her, Max. What the hell is this? Snowflakes? Or a storm is coming? Max, start from the beginning. Tell me everything. Let's talk about your superpower. Epic! I pledge allegiance to Max and the power for which she stands. You can rewind time, Max. That's fucking insane. We have to play. You need a sidekick to guide you. Okay, girl wonder. Show me the way to Chloe's cave. Ich frag mich, was Welcome am Schluss das sein soll. Rest. My home away from hell. Raw and rough. It suits you. Max, do you know how awesome this is? I get my best friend back and she's also super sized. I don't feel so super. Uh, Max, here, um, let me help you find a place to chill. You freaked me out there. Do you feel any better now? You saved me again. Crazy. Now we're totally bonded for life. Since you're the mysterious superhero, I'll be your faithful chauffeur and companion. My powers might not last, Chloe. That's okay. We will. Forever. I'm so glad you're my partner in crime. As long as you're my partner in time. I might get on the other side of that door before you, Lupin. The race is on. See you soon. Welcome to my domain. You are magic! I have no clue how the hell you got in there, but you did it, sister. Max, you better come check out these files. It's not a drawing. Look. Rachel in the dark room. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. No, you are not taking the cozy chair. Max, do your powers include mind reading? Or did you just rewind because I tried to steal the chair? Shit, I'm confused. It's the powers of best friendship. I know how you roll. Cowabunga! Why look, an otter in my water. Your power is changing everything, Max. Especially you. I can already tell. You're not so chicken shit anymore. Thanks, girlfriend. And you make me feel like I have a reason for still being in Arcadia Bay. Let's call it a draw. I'm gonna freeze my ass off when I get out. You look cute with your hair soaked in chemicals. Hide! Hide! You can't go back to your dorm now, you're a Blackwell fugitive. Crash at my place tonight. Photobomb! Photo hog. It feels like a different world from yesterday. We left a skid mark on Blackwell last night. Wish we could just hang out all morning like we used to. Maybe we should get up. I have to get back to Blackwell soon. I double dare you. Kiss me now. Damn, you're hardcore, Max. Now I can text Warren and tell him he doesn't stand a chance. Unless he's into girl and girl action. You're such a dork. Oh. 
<laughs> we could cruise everywhere in this bad boy. Can you see us heading down the coast to Big Sur and beyond? I know. Just daydreaming. That makes me ill that Rachel posed like this for Frank. I wrote him love letters. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? Because she knew how you would react. And she wasn't much of a friend, huh? Just another person who shits all over me. Why does everybody in my life let me down? My dad gets killed, you bail on me for years. My mother gloms on a step fucker. Now Rachel betrays me. Not until I see it first. You know the rules, Dad. Dude, I am so lucky that my father is cool. Max, you are being so fucking strange. You feel okay? Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. <laughs> it's weird hanging out with you again. I know. I'm glad we are, though. Look, the worst thing you can do is treat me like a baby. I still want to laugh and talk shit with my best friend. Can we stop? This is seriously the best view of the sunset. What do photographers call that? The golden hour. Whoa, awesome picture. We look so badass in our pirate gear. We should have taken over Arcadia Bay when we had the chance. Listen, Max. My respiratory system is failing, and... Uh, and it's only getting worse. I've heard the doctors talking about it when they thought I was zonked out. So, I know I'm just putting off the inevitable while my parents suffer along, and I will too. This isn't how I want things to end. What? What are you saying? I'm saying that being with you again has been so special. I just wanted to feel like when we were kids running around Arcadia Bay and everything was possible, and you made me feel that way today. I want this time with you to be my last memory. Do you understand? Chloe, you're back. I'm just... I'm just... I'm so glad you're here. You sound high, but thanks for the morning grope. Since we were up all night playing CSI Arcadia Bay, I was still spaced out here trying to put all this info together. Kate wasn't the first. All those binders are filled with other victims. Victoria has to be next. Nathan must be planning to dose her tonight at the Vortex Club party. Rachel. This can't be real. These are all... These are all post shots, right? Right? The junkyard! Max, we have to find that spot now! Then, then we can see what he did. There's no way she's dead. No way! She posed for those pictures, Max. I know it. Please, let's go. Rachel! Oh, Rachel, no, no, please, not her! Chloe. <laughs> Rachel, what? I'm sorry, Chloe. I'm so sorry. I loved her so much. How can she be dead? What kind of world does this? Who does this? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Max, we're almost there. Almost there. Please wake up, wake up, wake up. Max, come on now. Don't worry, don't worry. We'll be okay. You found a way back. Max! Max, can you hear me? Please say something. Chloe, I, I must have passed out. Oh, thank God. Don't you ever do that again, okay? I swear. Oh, 
But that nightmare was so real. It was so horrible. This is my storm. I caused this. I caused all of this. I changed fate and destiny so much that I actually did alter the course of everything. And all I really created was just death and destruction. Fuck all of that, okay? You were given a power. You didn't ask for it. And you saved me. Which had to happen, all of this did! Except for what happened to Rachel. But without your power, we wouldn't have found her! Okay, so you're not the goddamn Time Master, but you're Maxine Caulfield! And you're amazing! Max... This is the only way. I feel like I took the shot a thousand years ago. You... You could use that photo to change everything right back to when you took that picture. All that would take is for me to... To... Fuck that. No. No way. You are my number one priority now. You are all that matters to me. I know. You prove that over and over again. Even though I don't deserve it. I'm so selfish. Not like my mom. Look what she had to give up and live through. And she did. She deserves so much more than to be killed by a storm in a fucking diner. Even my... My stepfather deserves her alive. There's so many more people in Arcadia Bay who should live. Way more than me. Don't say that. I won't trade you. You're not trading me. Maybe you've just been delaying my real destiny. Look at how many times I've almost died or actually died around you. Look at what's happened in Arcadia Bay ever since you first saved me. I know I've been selfish, but for once, I think I should accept my fate. Our fate, Chloe. Max, you finally came back to me this week, and you did nothing but show me your love and friendship. You made me smile and laugh like I haven't done in years. Wherever I end up after this, in whatever reality, all those moments between us were real, and they'll always be ours. No matter what you choose, I know you'll make the right decision. Chloe, I can't make this choice. No, Max. You're the only one who can. Ah, oh, fuck it. Sacrifice Chloe or sacrifice a Kate. Ist mal wirklich also wieder so eine schöne Entscheidung. Töte jemanden, den du quasi liebst, oder opferst du andere, um genau diesen äh, ja, am Leben zu halten? Was ist äh, dein größeres Goal? Ähm, jetzt spalten sich bei mir gerade die Geister. Man kann es ja immer so sehen, dass man hier gerade ein Spiel spielt und dementsprechend das ja Jacke wie Hose ist. Ähm, einfach so mal das entscheiden könnte, was man im Regelfall nicht nehmen würde. Nur, äh, ja. Ich werde wohl mal wieder das For the Crater Good nehmen. I'm sorry, Chloe. Max, it's time. Chloe, I'm so, so sorry. I, I don't want to do this. I know, Max, but we have to. We have to save everybody, okay? And you'll make those fuckers pay for what they did to Rachel. 
being together this week. It was the best farewell gift I could have hoped for. You're my hero, Max. Oh, Chloe! I'm gonna miss you so much! Get out of here, please! Do it before I freak! And Max Caulfield... Don't you forget about me. Never. It's cool, Nathan. <laughs> Don't stress. You, you're okay, bro. Just count to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. <laughs> you're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. You don't know who the fuck I am, or who you're messing around with! Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down! Don't ever tell me what to do! I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs! Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho!
Und damit haben wir Life is Strange Episode 5 abgeschlossen. Ich muss sagen, ich fand es äh, ja, recht interessant jetzt gegen Ende. Es war äh, teils ein bisschen verrückt, <lacht> war gut so. Mir hat jetzt das Ende an sich leider nicht gefallen, weil ähm, es doch runtergebrochen wurde auf den äh, schon sehr gewöhnlichen Butterfly-Effekt, den man durch mehrere Filme kennt, der jetzt vielleicht anderen noch nicht bekannt ist, aber äh, die Auswirkungen von ähm, der Änderung eines Schicksals und dass es dann einfach immer schlimmer wird, das äh, ist halt leider bekannt und fand ich jetzt am Abschluss eher... So, meh. Ich meine, für die Story her, finde ich schon, kann man die zwei Abschlüsse schon so nehmen, aber ich hätte jetzt eigentlich vom Grundtyp noch ein bisschen was anderes erwartet. Ich hätte jetzt nicht unbedingt gedacht, dass er wirklich den Butterfly-Effekt 1 zu 1, so wie er halt schon herumgeistert, übernehmen. Ich hätte jetzt gedacht, die, ja, lassen sich noch kreativ was anderes einfallen fürs Ende, dass sie ihre Power irgendwie aufgeben kann, sich selbst opfern, das fände ich dann auch nochmal nicht schlecht oder sonst irgend sowas in die Richtung noch. Ähm, naja, haben sie jetzt leider nicht verwirklicht und äh, sei es drum, aber ansonsten ein sehr ähm, ja, erzählerisch getriebenes Spiel, was einem doch schon so manche Stunden vertreiben kann, was die Stundenanzahl anbelangt, kann sich es eigentlich echt sehen lassen wie ein vollwertiges Spieletitel. Und äh, auch die Tatsache, dass man hier wirklich durch das äh, Zeitmanagement hin und wieder einiges sehr schön und nett manipulieren kann, sich einiges auch äh, im Nachhinein ja wieder anschauen, finde ich sehr reizvoll. An sich für die Endsituation jetzt hier zum nochmal durchspielen, ist äh, leider durch diese Aktion wiederum äh, meiner Meinung nach das Boot gekippt, also ein Wiederspielwert hat es jetzt für mich eigentlich nicht großartig. Mich würde es jetzt zwar noch das Ende interessieren, aber Mai wahrscheinlich sitzen die zwei irgendwo und jammern drüber, dass er KDA Bay ver sterben haben lassen oder dergleichen. Ähm, ja, da kann nichts mehr großartig kommen, was einen dann noch überraschen würde. Nennen wir es mal so. Das zum Beispiel, wenn ich mich daran erinnere kann, dass die Pflanze gegossen oder nicht gegossen wurde und dass sich das eben folgenden auswirken sollte in irgendeiner großartigen Art und Weise. Bei mir ist die Pflanze, glaube ich, gestorben gewesen. Ähm, naja, es war jetzt auch nicht so, wie man jetzt erwarten würde, beziehungsweise was viele Entwickler, die diese Art von Spiel rausbringen, versprechen. Und zwar, dass die Geschichte sich nach deinen Gutdünken eben gestaltet. Da müssten wirklich mehr, wirklich schockige und tief eingreifende Änderungen passieren, weil ich glaube, im Grunde läuft alles hier gerade auf dasselbe Ergebnis hinaus, weil alles, was wir im Vorfeld ja an Entscheidungen getroffen haben, haben zwar in den Episoden äh, irgendwelche Wirkungen erzielt, jedoch gegen Ende, das Ende muss jetzt eigentlich überall gleich sein. Und das wiederum finde ich dann halt nicht so gut. Naja, gut, für den Butterfly-Effekt um ihn gescheit zu zeigen, ja, dann stimmt's schon, aber ich hätte mir jetzt halt mehr erwartet in dieser Art von Spiel. Trotz alledem, äh, ich danke euch vor allen Dingen fürs Zuschauen. Was haltet ihr eigentlich davon? Schreibt mir doch mal in die Kommentare. Und ich hoffe, wir sehen uns wieder bald erneut in einem neuen Projekt. Bis dahin, halt die Ohren steif und Sayonara.